A new medical condition was just identified by the American Heart Association after they discovered a link between four key factors. They're calling it cardiovascular kidney metabolic syndrome, or CKM, and as a result of a combination of cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call this morning to help us understand what this is and how we could be affected. Good morning to you. Good Thanks morning. so much for coming in. And what exactly is this syndrome and how common is it? Well, by defining this overlap and interplay between cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, and these metabolic disorders, we are better able to identify patients, risk stratify, and manage those most high-risk patients that are out there. Now, just to put in perspective, 33% of Americans have three or more risk factors that contribute to this syndrome. And when we think of danger in medicine, sometimes people think of the words cancer or COVID, but chronic diseases like those that make up CKM are the leading cause of death and disability in the United States. So how does someone calculate their risk? Okay, well, under these, this new guideline, these new, this new framework, the AHA is making recommendations to the old risk calculator. So first, we're going to be calculating risk starting at a much younger age, age 30, going to calculate 10-year risk and 30-year risk, and then finally, factor in these new components. Do patients have diabetes, obesity, kidney disease, and also social determinants of health? Now, these are those non-medical issues that contribute to health, like access to good nutrition, health care, even green spaces. And I understand there are stages to it. What, what are they? Okay, so there are five stages. Stage zero is where we all want to be no risk factors at all. Stage one is where a lot of people are and they're not paying attention to it, and that's pre-diabetes or perhaps holding on to a little extra weight, especially in the abdominal area. Stage two is when you have the presence of diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol. Stage four is asymptomatic heart disease. Stage five is symptomatic heart disease. Okay, so what can someone do to prevent progression of this? Okay, well, so that's the good part. You can slide back in the stages. You can regress. You don't have to progress. Lifestyle goes such a long way. I know I say it week after week, but it really does go a long way with this syndrome. And then there's a lot of new medications that that will target all dimensions of this syndrome. Um, SGLT2 inhibitor drugs like Jardians and Farsiga can help with diabetes, but also kidney disease and reduce your risk of heart disease. And then you have drugs like Wagovi, these weight loss drugs that can help with you with lo loss of weight and heart disease and Ozempic. So there's there are a lot of tools out there, but the most important thing is identifying yourself. If this sounds like you and you find yourself somewhere along this continuum, reach out to a healthcare provider, get help. Yeah, and take yeah. action, yes. right? You don't want it to continue on to those next stages. All Absolutely. Right. Dr. Nidhi Kumar, thank you so much for taking some time yeah. to talk to us today. We really appreciate it.